input bias equals I'm copy pasting it it will be random but the shape will be one because there is only one neuron and standard deviation it will be input bias let's name it and for the weight hidden layer also we need a bias neuron let's name it uh, hidden bias here also hidden bias and okay so if if we follow the design see this is the input uh, bias neuron which is having three connections because uh, there are three hidden neurons and the, it is the hidden bias neuron which is having one only one connection to the output neuron so the input neuron bias should have three outputs instead of one it should have three and the hidden should have only one right so we have here another one we will create the output tf dot variable and initial value we are ju let's just copy this and uh, everything will be same just the matrix shape which will be now 3 and 1 so it will be 3 and 1 standard deviation let it be and uh, the name let's name it uh, out output weights okay now we have okay that's it we don't have any other nodes to create so we created this placeholder we created the input weights we created the output layer weights now what we need to create is the flow of the values means we are putting the value from the input and it should flow to the output to do that we are going to use the operations so here we have two input neurons which is i1 and i2 let's call them and we have the weight matrix which is two rows and for each row each neuron we have three uh, weights so two for each neuron for the first one we have three weights for the second neuron also we have three weights so if we uh, place them place the value of the first neuron uh, the input neurons uh, as one single row and if we do a matrix multiplication we'll get our outputs like o1 should be i1 into into w11 plus i2 into w21 just like that so we have we are calling it hidden layer equals tf dot mat mul this will be small m yeah mat mul and we have to give the input first which is the input capital i input and the weight which is the weights so we have the hidden layer now we added only this and we got this one we haven't added the bias of the input so let's add the bias now so hidden layer equals to hidden layer plus the input bias okay we have that now let's so we have uh, created a relation between these inputs and the bias and these values so the relation is the matrix has to be multiplied with this input and to get this uh, outputs now we have to do the same for this output, output 
let's make it uh, make this variable as output weights output weights so let's make uh, let's create another variable output equals df dot matmul and now we are going to multiply this matrix with the input of the hidden previous layer which is the hidden layer here we have this one and we have the weights uh, weight of the output weight again we have to add this bias to the output output equals to output plus output bias or hidden bias sorry actually we can do the entire thing in one line we can copy paste it and paste it here and we can paste copy this and paste it here so in one line it will be over so that's it uh, we have our output relation and again I'm saying these are all relations we are just creating it's not happening right now it will happen when we'll call the run run in the session so we have created this complicated network structure in just few lines we can train it in the next uh, in the next video we will see how to train uh, how we can train this network to uh, perform some arithmetic operation of our desire like if you want to make it an AND gate or if you want to make it perform like a OR gate or if you want to make it uh, whatever you want uh, whatever structure you want you can ma make it work like that so for until then see you in the next video